And welcome to another episode of A Cup of Coffee and Action Comics number one. For those of you who are really into comics, this is a classic issue. This is number one of Action Comics with the the at the time not so famous but now famous Superman and it's sealed it's not been opened yet and it even has a DC certificate of authenticity oh no oh, I thought I was bleeding in my nose which I always do in the morning no I don't um, Normally I do a top uh, three thing on this uh, cup of coffee and episodes, but today um, I wanted to do one episode with just this. Might not be as long though. Uh, I've always heard about this and I've always seen this legendary cover of Superman holding the car and uh, how the page is made. It's from June 1938, which is pretty insane. Uh, this goes for, I think it was something like three million dollars or maybe even more in worth. But this is a special edition reprint. So I can um, read what it says on the back here. It says, uh, Certificate of Authenticity. I still can't say that word right. DC Comics certifies that this is an authentic reprint of Action Comics number 1, volume 1, featuring the first appearance of Superman. This special edition reprint is exclusive to Loot Crate, from Dan Dito, publisher, and Jim Lee, publisher. So, I got this from my local toy and comic uh, book uh, dealer, Andreas. Uh, I will put his uh, name in the in the description under here for his Instagram so you can see all these crazy toys and he sold me this so this is not worth three million dollars just so that's been said <laughs> but uh, it's still special to me because this is like a legendary classic comic book especially with this cover I would actually like to have a print of this framed but it's still sealed mint condition with a backboard and everything and a certificate all these details are more bueno for us comic book nerds so <laughs> i took my rusty kitchen knife in order to open it a little bit nice let's see if i can cut it nice and sweet or maybe horrible i don't own a pair of scissors at home <laughs> Maybe I should. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I'm still gonna keep the top plastic. Uh, yeah, worked fine until this. Okay, not so fine, but fine enough. Uh, do you have any comics that are not opened, and why don't you open them? Because it's your comics. I could understand if you had. The original number one from June 1938. Because that would be your pension. <laughs> or I wouldn't use that as a pension, I would just use it now to buy more comics. Okay, people, here we go. Maybe I should have worn gloves for this, but I don't. I've never seen this before, so it's uh, I'm sharing this with you. And this is so cool to have. We even have some marks on the back, so somebody it's been dealt with personally. Like quality paper on the certification thing. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to be some artwork or if this is actually uh, an ad. Because <laughs> this is absolutely impossible to read. <laughs> Ah, 
They really got a lot of information in there, didn't they? Okay, first viewing of this comic. This, this uh, I hope it's an original reprint, that this is exactly how it looks when it came out in 1938. Yeah? Shit. This is super cool. I love it. This is just how I do my artwork now with ink and brush. This is beautiful. And I love the smell. And the comics are new. And the panels, classic. First appearance ever, Superman in a comic. Oh, bonus story. Uh, what's this? Chuck Dawson by H. Fleming. Um, classic black and white I'm not gonna read it now I'm gonna save this for I was supposed to read this this morning but then I wanted to save it for yeah I was supposed to read it this morning but then I I just couldn't open it and just open it and that be that so I had to do a video of it and it's Satara Master Magician by Fred Gordon here I can't say names color so cool to know that this was made way before I was even born and then they had sticky Mitt Stimson I remember this guy I don't know, don't know the Norwegian name of it like classy goofy comics and then you have the adventures of Marco Polo illustrated by Sven Elven Sven Elven French I don't know and then you have Pep Morgan by Fred Gord Gord oh, Gordon 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 Gordon. Uh, then you have Scoop Scanlon, five star reporter by Will L Ellie. Black and white again. And we have Tex Thompson by Bernard Bailey. I remember the name though. Tex Tex Thompson. Classic. Love how simple but yet. Uh, strong the images are that's a long story and then Fred Astaire Constance Bennett Charles Boyer Wheeler and Wolsey like stardust in the end here and then odds and ends by Moloff almost a little bit like crumbish this one. so there you have it people that was action comics number one uh, there's tons of videos on uh, on YouTube more detail about this but check out i think it's uh s s mojo something just search uh, action comics number one rare comics or something and then you get a little bit more facts about this but it's like worth 300 million dollars or some insane price like that but i'm very happy with my little adding to the collection so the next ad will be of course the original the one that's worth a lot and then I probably will never sell it because comics are an addiction. <laughs> I still have these to look through. This is my gonna read. This is also not open. Might do an episode of that. It's with the plastic. Is it Mobius? Rise of the Midnight Suns. Morbius. Morbius. And it's sealed with the. What's it called again? Ghost Rider sculpting and with a poster. Should I do a video of this? Let me know, comment below. Well, make sure to check out the other episodes of uh, A Cup of Coffee and on my YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and share, and have a nice weekend. And write in the in the comments below which comics should I check out. Always open to see some new comics. So let me know. See you on uh, Instagram and on my Facebook page and. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> okay. Bye then. Bye.